the supplies. Got vinegar. Lots of it. Three gallons. Lemon. Onion. Big bag of onions. And sugar. And of course herring. Oh yeah, forgot the herring. Storage jar. Let's get going. Now we're into the secret refrigerator. Secret refrigerator. You get the 20 pounds of herring. 20 pounds. Salt herring from Iceland that we bought yesterday. Okay, now where did we buy this, Larry? We bought it in Stanwood, Washington at the Kamado, no, no, in uh, Kamado Island at the Kamado Island Market. All right. A bunch of old Norwegians up there. Everybody demands herring. All right, a bunch of people from the motherland. Okay. From the motherland. And here's our salt herring. Oh, look at that. Smell that salt herring. So how many pounds we got here, Larry? 20? 20 pounds. So 20. now we're going to take it all upstairs and we'll start slicing and dicing. Okay. In a couple hours. All right. So land. Ham. 2007. Here we are. Here's our recipe, the Roy Otnes Pickled Herring Recipe. Roy Otnes is a legend in pickled herring making competitions in Southeast Alaska. Good friend of my father. We love his recipe. Salt with herring, water, pickling spices, vinegar, white sugar, and onions, and some secret stuff that we add in there too to make it just so. We start the whole operation by sanitizing our, our workspace and our workstations. A little 409 or uh, some bleach, whatever you prefer. And this is going to keep our uh, E. coli and bacteria count way down. All right, here we are in the Wecon kitchen. We're going to start making our herring. Two things we have to do first, very, very important, critical step of the pickled herring process is cutting our herring and soaking it out for an exact 50 minutes of time. That's all, no, no more, no less. Less too salty, more it gets soft and mushy, and we don't like soft, mushy pickled herring. It makes you gag. Secondly, we have to make our pickling sauce, and that consists of sugar and vinegar and spices, and we need to bring it to a boil, and then we got to let it cool. can't be too hot when we put the fish into it, otherwise it'll cook the fish. So that's what we're going to do now, both of these things simultaneously. Larry here, just been in the garden. We Out in the garden, picking fresh sweet laurel, otherwise known as bay leaf. This is our, one of our secret ingredients. Oh, I shouldn't tell you that, though. Right, it's, it's a secret. Yep. Right, so we're going to have to edit this out of the movie. And more importantly, always wear eye protection. <laughs> I don't like the full pickling spice assortment. It's just too flavorful. This gives us a nice, concise, distinct flavor that everybody seems to enjoy. Yeah, even the Danes seem to like this recipe. Yeah, he's watching you. Here we are. We got Ingrid Jensen, trumpet player on the Skype. So I finally figured out in the closet where all that. Here we go. Here's our pickling sauce. This is uh, consists of sugar and vinegar and bay leaves and cloves and water. And we did a eight time recipe right. on this thing. So we got the big, huge boiling pot of crazy stew here. So this is what. Is does the magic. All right, the magic is cooking away here. Okay, this is how we, next step is to cut the herring into bite-sized tasty bite morsels. Size. And so what you do is you take a filet, here's a herring filet, and we cut them into about one inch, one inch slices. And then everything goes into the pot and then we will soak it out in water once everything is cut. Things are getting intense around here. Really uh, working hard now. Daddy. You gotta watch the fingers, especially if you're a drummer. Oh, there's a finger in the bowl. Uh oh! My lovely wife, Dana. 
How many, how many pounds did we do total last year? 45. 45 pounds 45 of pickled pounds. herring, and we don't have a bit to show for it. None. We've got our fish all cut up here. Fish are cut, now it's soaking time. So we want to soak these things in a, just a bath of cold water for 50 minutes. 50 minutes, and this, what, takes the salt out, right? Remove some of the salt from, from, the, uh, from the herring. Okay. We're preserving it when it traveled in barrels from Canada or Iceland, I'm not sure where. Okay, yep, and we've tested it out. It was pretty salty, but not bad, not bad. Had a good, nice, good. Tastes like an anchovy from a Caesar salad. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Here's the two lovely little herring eaten rugrats. Should be John Weekon and Asher Olaf Weekon. Good Scandinavian names. Hello, fellas. How's lunch? Yeah. It's been 50 minutes. Now we are going to get rid of the water because the, the herring's been soaking out and the salt's been leaving this, this wonderful fish. And then we're going to start making it. Right on. Assembling it in the jar. That's our next step. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so we've been slaving over this all day. Chopping onions, filling jars, boiling pickle juice, you name it, we've done it today. Now it's time to finish the project. Let's go. All right, Wait. here we are filling everything up. Uh, kind of teaching John how to make pickled herring here today. That's kind of been the whole point of our, uh, of our exercise. Good. I have something I've really enjoyed uh, learning from my dad, and I'm certainly happy to be passing along to uh, another family member. That's right. So it doesn't die with any of us, or any one of us, I should say. That's right. We'll be teaching Bo here soon. Us, probably maybe at the second or third annual uh, herring fest, fall fest. Herring consumption's been a uh, huge thing in my family for many generations, and uh, I'm just glad to be a part of it. <laughs> Mine too. <Okay. laughs>